Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron with IMIT. Today I'm going to be going over a brief tutorial on how to use copy and paste, as well as a couple of situations that you may want to use that. Uh, I'm using Windows 10 today, though these this exact thing will work with Windows 7, Windows 8. So to start, I'm going to go to a web browser, and I'm going to run a search for lemon cake. I'm going to take a look at this Martha Stewart recipe here. I have tried it and really enjoyed it. The ratings aren't as high as some of the other ones, but I thought it was great. So, uh, what I'm going to start by doing, because I want to get the ingredients as well as the directions, is I'm going to select just right after, right before the eye, and then go down to the very end on what to actually do here. And you see I'm not going to select anything else in the screen, as any of the ads or anything like that. So now that I have that selected, I can right click anywhere within the selection and click copy. Now what that's going to do is it's going to put it into your clipboard which is a, a hidden part of the computer but all this information is now stored in there. So now I'm going to go to my copy and paste tutorial where I have a folder specifically for the recipe book and I'm going to make a new document. To start that I'm going to right click and go to new. We've got a couple of options here. You can just go with using a text document uh, which will definitely work. Uh, it doesn't work as well as, say, using Microsoft Word, but I'll show you the difference between the two. So if I go to the text document, I want to give it the name Lemon Cake, and then I'll go into that. And then if I right-click, I can click Paste from there, and it actually puts all of the information into this, into this document here. Now, another way that I can do that if you don't want to use the right click, though I do highly recommend using it that way, is you can go up to edit here and you can see that you have the option to paste. I can highlight that because there is something in the clipboard currently. So if I click paste, it'll do the exact same thing that right clicking and clicking paste it did on the previous one. So let's save this and then I will show you how it looks if we use, say, Microsoft Word. I'm going to name this Lemon Cake again open it up. Now with with Word you get a few more options when you right click and go to paste. You can see it says paste options here. We can just paste in just the basic information that it gives you or we can tell it to merge the formatting which uses the formatting that is within Word but then also will pull the structure out from the web page the way that we copied it. Or we can tell it to just completely keep the source formatting which is going to be exactly what it looked like on the web page. So if we were to click on that, then you can see it puts it all in here and keeps the headings. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of cleanup because it gave a little bit extra. So now we have it down to one page. And the great thing about this is it makes it very easy to read. Printing it will work very well and you can also put it into a binder if you were wanting to actually make a physical copy of these things. So you can click save from there. Another option is to go to file and click save. Uh, it's going to accomplish the exact same goal. And that's it as far as copying and pasting from the internet to here. Now you can also use any text that you find within a document. You can always copy um, for anything, for re really various reasons. Like say you wanted to just put the exact same thing back in there, you can right click and do that. Though we probably don't want to double the amount of salt in this recipe. So let's close that. The next example I wanted to show is actually starting with a file that you already have on your computer. Say you've taken pictures of your family, you have various holiday photos, you wanted to make a book, but you didn't want to use every picture in there, instead you just wanted to use a few of them. I wanted to show you uh, an example of making a picture book about my dog. So if we go into this here picture book, there's nothing in it right now, but we do have over here under this PC, you can see that this is where I have my pictures stored. And this is a this is a folder that automatically will show up on Windows when you do a fresh install or when you get a new computer and then you just want to start putting your pictures into here. Now I have one that is named Animals and if I go under Pets and then go into Guillermo, I can you can see I have quite a few pictures that I've taken over his life. We've actually got a whole bunch more but so uh, what I want to do is kind of just do a little a little example of copying a picture from here but keeping it safe just uh, just as if you had a physical picture book but that you wanted to pull one out of it 
or leave one in it, make a copy of it, and then put it into a specific picture book. So we've got this picture of Guillermo chewing on one of his bully sticks here. If you just right click and then go down to copy. Now, now instead of the, the document that was in there before that I copied from the website, what is on that website isn't in the clipbook anymore. It's only showing in that file that I made or that document that I made. So keep in mind that whenever you copy, whatever was in there is now not in there anymore. So we've got Guillermo copied here. We go to our tutorial and go to our picture book about the dog and we can right click inside this folder and click paste. So now we have this picture in here in the folder that I'm working with as well as kept safe here in the folder where I keep all of the pictures. So from there, one thing that I find when you make a new folder a lot of times it will give you this kind of screen so you can't even tell what it is. If you go to view you have a few options. Uh, extra large icons really helps when you're working on a, a project like this. And you can see this is the only picture in there. And if we wanted to add in another one, then we could go back to the pictures folder. Go back to animals and pets and Guillermo. And we can get a little picture of him sleeping here. Then we go back to the folder that we were already using. We can do a little picture book about the dog. Put it in there. So I just made a folder, and that's what happens when you try to make a new folder there, but I don't want that. I actually just wanted to paste that picture in there. So now you can see as you add more, it'll actually start just showing you the picture rather than just being the name of the document. And using files or folders, uh, what we did with the pictures will also apply to folders themselves. So for instance, say if we wanted to make a copy of this picture book, you can go down, you right click on the on it, click copy, and then you can right click off of it and then click paste. And now we have a copy of it that's going to have the exact same information inside of it. So if you found this video informative, please leave a like down below. And if you have any questions or if you would like to see more tutorial videos or have a specific tutorial that you'd like to see how to do, please leave it in a comment below and we would be happy to make that tutorial for you. Thanks for your time and have a great day.